I have a studio, but I think a lot of the projects also happen just out in the world. To talk about the idea of the studio, um, for me, is to kind of talk about the idea of architecture, but not physical architecture, the architecture of an idea. The studio that I have is um, its actually kind of a series of buildings, and I, I created it in a way where I wasn't so much interested in uh, concrete floor, white walls, studio space, for example, but um, something that was more fluid. And um, the idea was really that these different structures, these different architectural structures would be like different parts of the mind and the way the brain works. And um, at my studio, different rooms are different mediums. So you kind of walk through editing or architecture or sound or production or as a place where we're kind of making hands-on things, models and sculptures and things like that. And, you know, I really, um, I, I really, I like working that way because I don't want things to be precious. I don't like the idea that you work in a singular way where one thing at a time happens. Studios really kind of attempt to liberate from that. So you have what happens there, and then you have the things that are they're kind of set up there to happen in the world. And, um, you know, that's, that's really the other chapter, I think, is that, you know, kind of everything around you, you know, has possibility and everything's a canvas, you could say. Uh, my name is Doug Aiken. I live in Los Angeles. I've had a lot of different studios and, um, you know, for a while I would just get a studio, like a month to month lease. I just find a place for that project I was working on and then, uh, you know, six months later or something, we would get rid of it. Completely nomadic. Um, there was a time where I, I had to do a show at the Serpentine in London, so we just found a space where we could build the Serpentine Museum out of foam core. You know, and, and other times I had a, uh, I rented a Persian rug factory where I could um, build a suburban room that we had to explode. So I was kind of working like that a lot, and eventually I kind of wanted a space that was a bit more grounded, a place that I knew was going to be there and I could return to and kind of build off of. That's the studio I have now. It's kind of invisible from the road. Um, you know, I think it's kind of, it's kind of hidden, it's kind of humble, um, but it's a kind of strange asymmetric lot that just keeps going further and further back. And I like it. I like it because it's, it's light. You know, it doesn't have a lot of weight and materialism to it. I think the one constant at my studio is there's always, there's always music, there's always some kind of sound, and that's just, it's like the law of the jungle. <laughs> music and sound for me is, is something that I've just, I've, I've always been immersed in, and you know, it's not so much that there's a genre here or an, an artist here that you listen to, but you know, it, it's kind of this flow, and you know, it's something that sometimes it's in the foreground, sometimes it recedes in the background. Sometimes you find ideas or even solutions for ideas within sound. For me, there's something valuable about coming back to the studio over and over. And, um, you know, times when you're uninspired, times when you're just work, doing work. You're, it's didactic, it's boring, you know, it's research, it's kind of brutal. But, you know, I think there's something in the repetition of that that, um, Oftentimes when you least expect it, you find a solution to something that, that, that you know, maybe you've hit a wall with. Living in the time that we're occupying right now, there's, there's so many tools to free you from space, from free you from being in a room or a studio or something like that. And so I think there's kind of a balance that you find. You know, you, you, you use a studio for certain things, but you know, we're, much more liberated than we were in the past also. The studio for me is a place of focus, and it's a focus in production, and you know, that idea of production can be anything. It can be, you know, having an opportunity to work with your hands on something sculptural, you know, and maybe you haven't in a while. To me, the studio isn't a precious place. You know, it's, it's more of a place for kind of a flow of ideas, just continuous flowing.